Welcome to the third installment of the STRX trial tutorial video series. In this video, we'll learn how to use the models library to create custom scenarios. If you have not watched the first two videos in this series, I highly recommend you watch them prior to watching this video. The links for those videos can be found in the description below. Let's begin. Now that we have loaded into the software, it's very important to note that you must be logged in as an instructor and not a student. These roles vary greatly and it is important to access several features such as the models library that you are an instructor, not a student. If you are logged in as a student and you'd like to change your role, you can go to the main menu at the top left corner. At the very bottom, you have the option to choose another role. So now we're instructor, we can begin. To open the models menu, there's a button at the very bottom that says unhide models menu. This loads up the models menu with a very limited number for the trial version. To add any of these models, you simply click on the icon and you drag around with the mouse to position. You can rotate, raise, lower any of the models until you get to the desired position. Once you place the model, it is in the scene for everyone to see. If you'd like to reposition the model, you can click on the reposition button and similar to originally placing the model, you can move around with your mouse, rotate up, down, left, right with your arrow keys to replace the position of the model. If you'd like to remove this model, you can go to the menu and the X button which says delete. Now that we know how to add in the models, let's go ahead and create a scenario. For this one, we'll for example create a warehouse fire. So to do this, go to the warehouse environment and here we are. So what we can do is come inside the building here and we can go ahead and create our scenario. So we can, for example, add in some crates. These crates do explode or can explode if you'd like them to. Uh, we can add in some barrels. We can go, so go ahead and add some fires in here. So let's go ahead and go to uh, medium fire here and place it right there. To activate this fire, once again, just activate. We can add another fire. And with a few clicks of a button, you've got a full warehouse fire. What we can do here is we can go ahead and go into the student role to see what the student might see rather than the instructor. So with just a few clicks of a button, we are able to take this warehouse and set it on fire and create our own scenario. Another example scenario that we can build is an oil tank fire caused by a lightning strike. So what we can go ahead and do is go down here to our models menu, grab our oil tank, place it here. We can go ahead and set the weather to storm to simulate the lightning strike. We can go ahead and activate our tank fire. and our bonfire. And just like that, we have an oil tank fire caused by a lightning strike. Now, we're not limited to only these. We can always add more. You can add as many fires as you like. This is what your students will see. Okay, at this point you should know how to use the model library, adding in your different models, fires, explosions. Um, and so we will see you for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.